Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Sonic Mania. Now that we're in Studiopolis Zone, let's jump up here and get a life box to drop down on us. Just need to be careful because there is a spring here that pushes us the op opposite way. And we can go very high up here, apparently. I don't think I've ever been this high on this first area, which is interesting. But anyway, if we get into this Eggman chair, we actually go up here. And that enemy that's swinging around is really annoying because if he hits you, you... Or well, if he touches you while he's like electrocuted, you have to be, you have to go back a bit. Oh my goodness, how am I finding things I've never found before? But anyway, if we have the electric shield, rings will be pulled toward towards us, and we can also do a double jump now with it until we lose it, you know, inevitably. Anyway, this is a really cool zone, and the music is also amazing. But the music has always been amazing in this game, for the most part. There's a lot of ways to go through this level, considering I've never gone this way, I don't think. There's also these things that will teleport us around until we reach TV. Let's grab those there and get a water shield, which I, I believe we can actually press the jump button in midair to actually bounce down. Oh, careful of the Eggman box. If I can go up here, we can grab those rings, and then let's keep going. Okay, I don't know where I'm going right now. Oh, actually I do. Kind of. I don't know how bad this enemy is. That's how bad that enemy is. Oh, bad. Get off the spikes before I run out of invincibility frames. Okay, we're good. I'm gonna grab some more rings, and then I'm gonna dash through here once these things get out of my way. Okay, just be careful, and popcorn shop machine puts us back up here. Let's go up here, be careful of that thing there that breaks, I think. I don't know where things are in this level. It's fine. Let's just teleport around a bit and see where we end up. I don't remember if I found any of the special rings in this stage specifically. But anyway, let's go over this way. And we can... Go off the edge, please, and bounce up here. Allowing us to go th through this area. Oh, I missed that top area, but that's fine. There's no wrong way to go, basically, is how this works. Oh my goodness. So much speed. Oh, get up there. No. Maybe, 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 maybe. Wow, redemption. Okay. Let's do the special stage again. It's always the same one you're up to whenever you last went through one of these levels without getting the emerald. I missed those. I'm going to just leave those for now. And I'm going to leave that for now until I get a little bit faster. A lot of choices to make. Also, careful of those mines there. Oh, that was nearly bad for me. But we're up to Mach 2 already. Gonna take this shortcut here. As you can see, there is a lot of rings to make sure you have enough time. And the time we have is actually next to our ring count in the middle of the screen. Upper middle of the screen, that is. Okay, I'm gonna grab that now that I have enough speed. Let's see if we can get to Mach 3... soon. Okay, there we go. Now we just need to catch up to this thing. I've got plenty of rings already, so I should be able to just go straight for it. And I missed and bounced all over the place. This is fine. And there we go. That's the fourth one down. Which I believe is purple. Purple? Pink? Purple? Purple. I'm gonna go with purple. Okay. Back to Studiopolis. With its great music. Let's just go up here and let's keep going. I didn't remember getting that... That special ring before, so I'm glad I got it this time. If there is a time to accidentally find a secret, it's during a playthrough. Oh my goodness, hello. Oh, I can't... I can't... I can't... It's weird whenever you go one way and have to go the other way. Because the controls reverse. Okay, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. I knew there had to be a bouncer there or something because 
the bouncers help get to places that you can't reach by spinning yourself. Anyway, we're at the boss now. This is quite a tricky boss, though. I don't know how exactly to do it properly, but my recommendation would be stick to the left side of the screen for this first round. We need to jump over these red missiles, and then with the blue one we need to jump into it or spin into it by pressing down. If you're stuck in a... Oh, there goes my rings. That's not good. I, although, after each hit, you will get another ring back, so... At least one, so there's, there's, they've got four, that's pretty good. <sighs> okay. Remember to jump when you're still spinning to get out of a spin by landing on the ground again. But anyway, for this... For this... Uh, this... After this, the first round, you have to actually... Oh no, oh no, oh no. After the first round, you have to be very careful because you can't stick to the left side of the screen as long. Okay. This is a good song, though. I really like it. Okay, there's not much left to do. Just need to not die. Which is easier said than done. I also like how there's the special Eggman robots which have the colors and are in the group. Come on, get that before the red one gets to me. We can also use Tails as an extra shield, basically, by getting him hit by the red ones. But I believe this should be the last hit on the boss now. So we need to be careful. Because you'd, it would be bad to lose on the last hit of the boss. Okay, we cut, I could roll into that now, but I'm going to be very careful. Oh my goodness, perfect. Perfect, perfect. That's that boss down. Just gonna come back over here since we can. And we will get pulled back over here anyway. And now, it's time for Act 2. Music changes. It's still pretty much the same, but it's it's got a nice difference to it, I guess. That makes it... You know it's different because, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say, it sounds different, if you couldn't tell already. Can I bounce up there, please? Thank you. I don't know where the special rings are on the stage, and it's concerning me. Ooh, that nearly went the wrong way. That's fine. I feel like I'm not going off in a different direction, though, than I would have otherwise. Okay, be careful with this guy. This guy is really annoying because you have to take out his orbs around him before you can take him out. And whenever he spins them around fast enough, he makes a shield for himself. Okay, I wasn't expecting to get that jump to work. Anyway, let's go into these bumpers here. Oh, where am I? Jump quickly before those lights fall down. Okay. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm up here now. Cool. Uh, just gotta be careful of this guy. Make ha may have to be in a spin to actually t do damage to him, which is annoying. I have not been on this path before. I like maxing out my speed before I let go of a spin as well. Wow. Special ring? Oh my goodness. Another special ring I've not seen before. Catch the UFO. Okay. Obviously these are going to get harder the further we go in. I believe this one is very, very specific about what you have to do for it as well. Again, you also need to collect rings as much as possible, but for the, f the first run loop round, you want to grab as much of these blue orbs as possible as well. Grab that so I don't f get out. If you can get to mock speed around now, mock 2 that is, is really good. And if we can go this way and collect these rings here and then bounce into that, we can get to mock 3 really quickly, but I missed it, so just gonna have to speed up normally. That's the first loop. Let's keep going. And I might actually be fast enough to catch up to it or not. Or not. Or not. Oh my goodness. That was bad. We can also use those ramps to go up for rings if we need to, but we're kind of good for now. Okay, Mach 3, let's go. Just need to catch up. It's going through this way this time. We can't get that speed up this time because we don't have those ring boxes anymore. Which is difficult to get. And there we go. First try. Here we go. 
Okay. Got a white one now. Five out of seven. I'm gonna have to stop getting those because I need to... I need to stop getting those. Basically. Anyway, let's get out of here. The way we're intended. Also, I like these... Those ring... Bouncer... Sphere... Circle things because they give you... A bunch of... Things. What happens if I go this way? Oh, I didn't go fast enough. That's what happens if I go that way. Let's go this way, which I'm used to going this way. Okay. Jump up here. And now we get to go down this thing. I don't know what this is supposed to be. I think it's a reference to something if I had to... Oh my goodness. There goes all those rings. All of them. Literally all of them. But anyway. Let's keep going. I love the loops in, as well. Loops are fun. Gonna go the opposite way now. Go up this way and then all over the place, basically. I can't see where I'm going right now. Oh, what did I bounce on? I don't know, but I'm going this way now. Okay, run, 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 run. Gallop Lotto. Three times, three times. Okay, I'm gonna slow down one times. Three? I don't know what I just got, but it's fine. Going down to this thing now. Will I get the shield? The regular shield? Nope. Down again. And this thing is just gonna launch us. Just all the way around everywhere. So let's just go. Extra one up from the rings, that's good. And we're up to the boss. Egg TV. The weather report says. Windy, you need to get underneath one of these bars. I think we can use that to get him from that. Yep. Weather says sunny, so we need to stay underneath him. And he goes down for a little bit during that. And there's also one more, which is rain storm. Which you need to be away from, get away from the cloud that spawns above you. But anyway, Egg TV is currently unavailable, so we ask you to be patient while we get that back, um, not up and running, back, back into, I don't know, the, I'm gonna just put it in a file on my computer and then possibly delete it. Breaking! Flying battery returns! Breaking! <laughs> Why is it breaking? It shouldn't be breaking news, but anyway, we get to go to the flying battery. Which I believe is from... Knuckles? I think? Possibly? If I'm not wrong, I'm probably wrong, since I don't really know Sonic games that well. Anyway, let's go down this way. Need to be careful of these fire things. Because we are not fireproof. We can stand on them to stop them for a little bit. But it also spring us up if we stand on it too long, which is probably not exactly what we want. But anyway, go through here as carefully as possible. And if we go... Oh, careful. If we go this way and bump that, we get a firebox for a fire shield. And now we can actually stand next to this fire without any trouble, basically, until we get hit. But anyway, let's go down here. I like these, um, the things that you grab onto. Okay, and this is... We need to be careful out here because we could fall out of the world and die, which is not good. This goes down, but I'm going to just jump anyway, since we can. Got these propellers pushing us up. And I think we can go down there for a ring... Like a special type ring box thing. I don't know what it, what it actually does. But it's like, it makes your ring counter blue. And if you lose your rings, you... Um, uh, they drop in like tens. Which means you can get them back quicker, better maybe. Possibly, but anyway, with this uh, electric shield, we actually get pulled to the ceiling with all of the metal stuff because of magnets. Oh, and there it goes. That's a shame. But anyway, let's go. Ooh, careful, 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 so careful. Go up here, onto the top of this flying ship. We can grab onto these, which will make us spin and then launch ourselves quickly to another thing. We can look around here a little bit. I don't think I ever found out how to do some of this properly. 
Oh, no, that doesn't work. Anyway, let's just go this way. I never figured out how to use that properly. Let's go. Oh, very careful. Don't get crushed. Oh my goodness. There goes my rings. And it doesn't even drop all of your rings whenever you get hit by that, I don't think. Or hit by anything. Now I'm going to go this way, probably. Just being very careful of that one there. We get a special invincibility, so let's just run through everything. And then let's go up this way. Come on. These also are counters platforms, which means you can get crushed by them as well when they go into the wall. So I'd recommend being very careful around those. Anyway, let's grab that dash. So we can go everywhere super fast. Oh, let's go back quickly. There's this way that I want to go up here. These platforms come and go over time. So let's go up this way. Because I believe this is actually going to lead us to a special ring. If I can get past everything here. Oh my goodness. Ah, my rings. All my rings. It's fine. I don't need them that much. But I don't like losing them all at once. Okay. Just need to wait for this platform and we can go. And jump on that bouncer and we're going places. Okay. We're good. Ooh, careful not to get crushed in between things. Highly recommend not getting crushed in between things. Just gonna avoid all that. Is there anything else here? Doesn't look like it. Just press that switch there. Careful not to get hit by the mines or the missile things. Oh, be very careful. Those are gonna blow up that part of the roof there so we can get in. And now if we spin through there, we get a, a electric shield and I just lost it immediately. Cool. I don't like these spinny things. I don't like these spinny things. Okay, we're good. Just need to go a little bit further and then we can go back down at the ship. Right over here, so let's go. Holding down so we can spin for speed. And now it's time for a boss. Which I believe is different from what it's supposed to be in Sonic and Knuckles. We have this little area, this trash compactor, which is getting smaller as we stand in it. And we've got this thing at the top of the screen, which is making monsters for us to get rid of. If we touch it when it's electrocuted, then we'll take damage as well, which is not great. But if we can get Tails to touch it, possibly. As we get, as the space gets smaller, though, we get pushed up, so that's good. Okay, just careful, 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 careful. Thank you, Tails, and careful. We've got a fair bit of time to get through this, but there we go. Just juggle this for as long as we want. But there we go. It's time for Act Two. You can also exit and then uh, go back to where you were up to at the beginning of a level. I don't know about checkpoints, but possibly checkpoints count as places you can load back to when you leave the game and come back. Anyway, let's see if I can figure out where special rings are in this stage. Okay. Speed. So much speed. Go down here. Okay. Just need to be careful. We're going in and out of the ship now, which is cool. But we can also bounce off of this to get up here for a, a invincibility. So let's take that and go. Just need to be careful. Go, go, go. Fire shield. Very nice. And then that extra life up there that I missed. That's fine. Let's just go through here and go fast. Hang on, there's a secret thing in the wall there. I'm pr pretty sure I can't get to that from here though. So let's just go up here. Oh, there I go. I think I can go this way now for that secret, which launches us over here. There's these items here, but I don't know how to get them because we press that switch, but it doesn't open it up for us. So let's just go over this way and go 
inside the ship again. Got an electric shield here that we can use for getting rings from everywhere. Oh my goodness, I'm way up here. How did I get up here? I don't know. Anyway, we need to get in that door up here if we can. Back into the out, and let's go down. Oh, careful of those guys, they'll shoot at you. I love speed. Also, I think I can go on this wall. Yep. For some speed shoes and some rings. I don't know where I'm going, but I'm going this way now. Nice. Very nice, actually. Oh, I need to stand on that longer so I can bounce up. Go. Press that. I think we can also go up here with our magnets for the special ring. This, If I get this Chaos Emerald, it's the last one I can get before probably stopping my attempts. Also, I need rings to stay in the game. And I, I need a lot of things. This one's a tricky one, I believe. Considering it's one of the last two. You just need to be careful around this turn because of those edges there. I'm going to leave that ring box there for later. Oh my goodness, don't get hit. Oh my goodness, how did I not get hit? Jump around this turn as well. Okay, I'm going to grab this ring box now though. Since we're at Mach 2. I probably should have gone for those blue orbs, but I didn't. It's fine. And now, if we can go across here, that was a bad move. You need to bump, bounce off of the first one to the second one, but I missed. And it's fine because we've got... We have five out of seven Chaos Emeralds already. And there's plenty more chances to get them still. Let's go. Oh, I messed that up, but I'm not sure how this has still worked out. Anyway, we can actually just let the game take us instead of letting it not take us for some reason because I messed that up and yeah we're pretty good now if we just listen to the game we'll be fine but I'm bad at listening oh I'm up here I don't think I'm supposed to be up here unless I have a special electric shield getting up there okay I'm on the ground again. Let me just... Oh my goodness. Where do I go? Let's go through this tight spot there. That didn't really do anything for me, but anyway. Let's go down this way. Oh my goodness, that guitar though. Epic. Whoa! I'm up here again. Not supposed to be up there. But anyway, let's go through there. Let this grab me. Oh, get up there, please. Oh, don't... No, lost it. That's fine. Also, somehow Tails took the dash, but not me. It's fine, I didn't need it, Tails. I mean, you're the, the main character of the game, after all. If you jump for those rings, they'll push you back a little bit because of the wind. Coming through the window. Speaking of wind, this area here wants us to jump around without jumping into the spikes. Go up. I don't know which way you're supposed to go through that. But, anyway, it could be a trick that those rings are at the top, so, I think there's also a way up over this way that I'm going to take for a shield. Go, 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 go. Oh my goodness, that's cool. And there goes my shield already. Spring me up. Okay. Got over 200 rings, which is probably what I usually aim for. I mean, I don't always achieve it, but that's what I aim for. It's just good to have that much. Pretty much. Oh my goodness. Speed. Speed. I love speed. Spelt with like 15 E's. Okay. We're way up here now. So let's keep going. Now we need to be very careful here because these platforms have that one spike ball on it. And now we're up to the boss. This is an interesting boss though, because we need to hit it to make sure it doesn't attack us with Eggman inside of it. And then when we get up to this bit, if we can get up here and then jump into that, like that, we can bounce him into the spikes doing damage. We can do it multiple times in one try though as well, which is good. But you need to make sure he stays on the ground long enough so he doesn't get 
to attack, and also means you can do damage to him. Oh, that was close to death. Okay, he's attacking. Just need to be careful. Oh my goodness, my rings. My rings! I had over 200 and I got 15 out of it. Because the game does not care about how many rings you have when you lose them. It just cares if you lose them because then it'll just drop so many that you can grab again. But not all of them. Okay, there we go. Please, nope. Just gonna keep him on the ground so he can't attack me. Just keep him on the ground. Just keep him on the ground. This is good. This is actually very good. Okay, let's go for this. And go. And we're done. Done with this zone as well. Tails is so happy. Press Garden, Zone Act 1. Which is a pretty cool zone. It's got a good style, it's got good music. But anyway, again, we're gonna have to leave it just because this is a good spot to break it up, so. Anyway, that is it for this episode, so thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.